Hello everyone, and welcome to The Messenger. Man, I I don't know what happened, like, <laughs> I screwed up the intro so bad. I tried to, um, I tried to read it, and then I, I think my microphone didn't activate, and then I tried to tab out of it, and the audio <laughs> was coming out. Oh my god, that's a disaster already. But, you know what, <clears throat> doesn't matter, we're playing The Messenger. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Hey, XA, how's it going? This is actually making me feel a bit better about games. Because honestly... This um, retro style games makes me want to play even more retro style stuff. Even real retro stuff, right? So we'll see. Maybe, maybe we got in the right mood now. Depending on how this one goes. We never heard of this one. Oh, really? Ah. Did I play the message yet? No. Another day, and still no sign of the so called Western hero. Training used to be fun. It's very loud, by the way. I'm gonna turn it down. But all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army in this, and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries. So why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Get around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great. Another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Oh my god, that's... That's really loud, jeez. <laughs> Alright, much better, I can hear myself, I think. But, hey Grey Fox, no, I didn't play the messenger yet. I, it was in my list, it has been in my list for a while now. I'm not too keen, I gotta say, on platformers. You know. But, this may be fun. We'll see. Hey guys, why am I the only one with a bluish green shirt? Right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Sexy brutal is not platform. No, I thought about it. I think we will play it soon. Right. Aha! I got it. See? Perfect. Oof! Oh, look at me. I'm a true ninja already. Well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Um. Also, co worker was desperately looking for games to play, dismissed a sexual brutal, and when he got him convinced his family tried to straight up apologize to me because it's amazing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is amazing. I don't know. It's just a weird moment. For me. Ever the rebel? What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you, but let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. 
And should they? Music is still a bit too loud? It's fine in my headset, but... Let me know if it's too loud. He's being weird. I know, I'm being weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They have returned! The demon army! This is all wrong! The western hero was supposed to save us all! Watch out! Oh no, what crap ninjas are these ones? I mean, we cannot go much lower than this. Shinobi saves us! I'll try- oh! Hey, man! Don't go! You... You are not... Prepared! Sorry. I channel a little bit of villain- Oh my god! Burn it all! Bring the humans to the knees! Not so fast, big boy. Um, dude. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really Olive Garth? Well, I mean... I'm the guy that didn't even have a purple, like, outfit, so... I'm like the noob. Pathetic. Prepare to die. The sound. Impossible. Oh, the Western hero! He's gonna get one shot at, look at him. It seems luck is with you this day! Okay, he's actually cool. Barmatazel! Excuse me? What did you say to me? Oh. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Count your blessing, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the Autumn Hills. Okay, well. Are you... the Western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. Yeah, what's up with that, dude? Does he look like the most capable around here? Oh, yikes. I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Lash and Speak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you? And why is this scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. I got the scroll! <laughs> Yay! You've been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across the cursed world. The they just phased out of existence? What? Okay, I'm pressing all the buttons, but... Really, we only have jump and attack. I think this game, by the way, goes... Switches between 8-bit and 16? I do... Isn't that the gimmick? So, uh, I think right now we are in 8-bit uh, mode. That's <laughs> music. Hey! Jump on me, right? Can I do a downward attack? No. Oh, the music is kind of good, though. Oh! Okay. I mean, this being a platformer, you already know pretty much how this is gonna end, right? What is this? 
Um. I'm sorry, I, I need to. No? Please don't touch the cabinet. Oh, sorry, dude. Um, hi, who are you? Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop, of course. <laughs> it doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Well, I mean, it's not wrong. Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the faraway mountain in three, were three sages even. From my order will be waiting for you. Oh, it's part of the order of the sage. The order? Slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. What's going on here? We're breaking the fourth wall already. Look, no, just keep going eastward and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. Is Amazon order? I mean... Maybe? We are a messenger. <laughs> are we a, are we an Amazon like delivery guy? First one is on the house! Enjoy! You got the climbing claws? Oh! Press against the wall while airboat to stick to them. Ah, nice! Do you need anything? Sure. What do you have? Oh. Okay. Karuta plates. HP plus one. Concealed arm guards. Going into serendipitous bodies. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores one hit point. Nice. Path of resilience. Defense up. Incoming damage of two or more will now be reduced to one. Kusari jacket. Plus one HP. Meditation. Checkpoints will now restore hit points. Ah. Prepared mind. Key charges plus one. Shuriken. Pierce one target. Oh, we have shurikens? Range attack. Tap into your mind's key or chi charges, allowing you to throw energy shurikens with Y. Got it. Strike of the ninja. Attack enemy projectiles? Oh. Empower your attack, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off them. Oh, that sounds very useful, actually. Sure, why not? Have a chat. Uh, what do you want to chat about? The climbing claws. So, climbing claws? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can press against the wall to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense? The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yeah, that's why John Gaiden invented them decades ago. Who's John Gaiden? Yeah, that's a good question. Ninja Gaiden? Never mind. Just acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. <laughs> I don't get it. I do. Some will. <laughs> this is amazing. What is this place? Seriously, though, where are we? Curie the zombie. In time, you will come to realize that the question is not where. When? That's it? Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Ah. Uh, would you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Fine. Kids these days. Chase. Alright, I'll leave. <laughs> what a rude shopkeeper. So, how does this work? Oh, oh, that's really nice. Oh, the music is so good, though. Oh, my God, they... Oh, no way. They do the old respawn off-screen thing. Unbelievable. I'm also already scouting for secrets. 
Man, that is some Mega Man bullshit right there. Holy crap. Um, the hell are those things, man? Okie dokie. It's a good thing the controls are so tight. Like, it, it's perfect. Who the hell is that? Oh. Oh. Goodness sake. Oh my god. Alright. This game is gonna kill me so hard at some point. Oh, wow. I am actually glitched. <laughs> oh, the music is different. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, how do I... Oh. Oh, no. This has the old Super Mario swim with jump. Wait, what was that? What were those blue things? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I see how this is. This game is gonna make me go insane. I'm, I'm sure there will be a point where... Oh god, already. Oh, dude! Cool, man. <laughs> Whoa! Running dude! Okay. Oh, Jesus! Yo, Astaroth! How's it going, man? Oh, wait. The hell are those things? Are they... Do they hurt? Oh. Um... Hi, I'm back here. Good! Oh, glad to hear. This looks neat. It does! It really does. 7 out of 10 shaped gear? Oh, dude. Are you missing any unique shaped stuff? Do you have to, like, chance them? A while being knocked back to do a recovery jump. Let's get the shuriken. Oh, that's what the blue thing was. I don't I don't know. They don't hurt though, they? No, they don't. Okay. The three shaped things left you need are the two wands and a shaped ring. Oh, okay, that's Oh, whoa! That is some serious jumping technique. Oh! So you can take advantage of the eternity? Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Oh, that is not nice, however. So how do I get my, um... Shurikens back. Man, I was thinking of getting me one of those um, shrouds. Ooh. Nice. Right. It's so freaking old school. Oh! Crap. This 
reminds me of the good Nintendo days. Like the real good Nintendo days. Ow. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of the Nintendo days. Oh, this thing just... I can't wait for a boss. Wait, hello? Uh-huh. Oh! Um... What is that? Secret! Hey! So! It seems you want to wander off the beaten path. What was that being green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? Uh, it's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. And who knows? May or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. I see. It may or may not do that, huh? What if it doesn't? <laughs> what if it doesn't upgrade? Unlock the upgrade, huh? Oh, this, the, the, I don't like this. Okay. Okay. I wonder if those things can hit me while they bounce. So far, the platforming is fine. And it's about to get a lot worse. Oh, wow. You know, Yona got into PoE? Oh, yes, she did. Yes, she definitely did. I kind of pushed her in that, you know. <clears throat> What's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. Oh, okay. Let's get the plus one HP, I guess. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores a key charge. Oh, that seems very useful though. Let's wait then. Can I touch this now? Don't touch the cabinet. What? Is there a tentacle monster coming off this cage? Well, I guess there. Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! What's that? A ninja? No, that's a leaf monster. Ah! Holy crap! <gasps> oh. oh god, ouch! Are they coming back? Okay, it's... It's actually killing me. Oh my god, that's so, so quick. Leave him alone? Sorry, I was in kind of kind of in a rush. I had to leave. Into the forlorn temple. Hey, dude. Uh, can we can we have a chat? Anything new? Current area. 
Fallen Temple, huh? That's a sad one. Oh, how so? I haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Ah, uh, no. Adventure types rarely do, I get it. So the short of it is, four-headed monster Boo would have killed you earlier if that cooler than you, hero, <laughs> had to intervene. How dare you? That's the Demon King. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed the stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on the throne ever since. You mean this is all that is left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way! I will go and take down that Demon King right now. You wanna be the first to try? But well, can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery? I'm still too weak to consider taking on even his second in command. I'm going. I much can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Oh, I will. <laughs> what? Do you have any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. The once a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. The next morning, she would ask them how the night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident that they had proved it didn't fear the dark, or that they couldn't be easy guests. They could be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses, he went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile, so that someone who's a scream sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you ever heard of what happened after? After? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music was too loud, paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, the poem were predictable. But then one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. <laughs> Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. It dawned on her, just like that. How this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humbled by Regal Sander, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems, delved into personal growth, then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> cool story, bro. Um, okay. Is this gonna fall on me? Yes. I fell into the pit. <laughs> I lost my bet. Oh. Oh! You scared me! I thought you were an undead! What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a phobokin? A phobokin? Pumpkin? We are a tribe of builders, technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by unique fear. Which we are named after. Oh, what's the name? Necro. Necro? So you fear the dead and somehow end up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? That's very unlike. Um, unlucky. I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, that's for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Okay, bye, dude. Okay, okay. What? Okay. Um. Oh, this is getting... I see where this is going. Oh, 
Come on now. Oh, good. God. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Can I? Oh, jeez. I got... That scared the shit out of me. My climbing claws just, just got attached to the moving part. Um, uh-oh. Whoa, who's that guy? Oh, okay. I mean... That is... Not the worst. Could have been much, much worse, to be fair. Can I... Can I... Oh, I... Oh, yes. Okay. Go slowly. Oh, this is bad. I don't like it. But, I think I have enough to buy my upgrade for my shurikens. Yes, so enemies sometimes will drop a globe that restore a key charge. Chi? Key? Again? I don't... I think I've heard it pronounced both ways. <laughs> oh! Fun place, huh? Okay, this is... Uh, uh. <laughs> alright, alright, nothing too terrible. You have- Oh, dude! Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go the normal way. How about that? <laughs> oh, this is- This is- Alrighty then. The music is fantastic, by the way, in this game. No! <laughs> oh, this is so... dodgy. I like the change of music when you hit the wall. I know, right? It's a nice touch. All right. Oh no no no! Wait 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 wait. Okay. I got my chi back. Uh, what am I looking at here? Right. So, like this. Now, quickly. Yeah, I, can, I, I see that. Oh, I see. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't. Is that. Is there something down there? I mean, there's a lot of life that I don't really need. Oh! Flippin' heck. Alright, come on, this is not too bad. Oh, that is bad. And it's also dead. But... Do I need to pick this up? Is it gonna give me bonuses or more gems or whatever? How did I just get hit there? Come on, game. Ah, him again. Or her? Alright. Well, not too shabby. Feel it, it's getting worse. Oh god, here we go. Okay, not too bad still. There's a weird. I don't know if it's like meant to be like that, but. Do you see the black bar on the top sometimes goes in front of... I mean, the, the enemies go in front of the black bar. A bit weird. Okay, I need more chi. Oh, this makes me want to play some Nintendo games, like original NES. <gasps> what am I doing? Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's you! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Maniac. Okay. Nice. Oh, that was close. I'm not getting. Okay, there we go. I got it back. Right. I think it's gonna be a boss fight. They just gave me everything back, life and um, chi. So, he touches plus one, shoot can pierce one target, healthy sleeping and eating habits, blah blah blah. Uh, underwater dash, that seems kinda good. But I'm gonna go for HP plus one for now. And enemies will sometimes drop a globe to restore hit points. Sure. Tell you what, let's do the recovery and the dash. I mean, this skill tree is very small. Is it gonna be something after that, or is that it? Maybe the game is actually shorter than I expect. 
with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxtin. Ahem. <clears throat> what now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. <laughs> I've been practicing. Watch this. Is it just a skeleton? Oh no! <laughs> it's tiny! Ahem. <clears throat> Who dares enter my lair? Uh oh. Is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Still a scroll, of course. Good plan, good plan. And guard! Face the mighty might of Ruxtin the Great! Uh huh. <gasps> Jeez, okay. I don't want to stand. Yo! Oh, I blocked it. Oh, these bosses are fun. Okay, okay, so now this time I have to... It's so easy to to figure out, you know. And yet so fun. He's flashing red, by the way. I think he's um, dead. <gasps> oh, that's terrible! Oh, I jumped in on his head. Ah, oh, he's dead. Easy. So what happens to the cane? The staff? To that thing now. I yield! Wait, I don't! <laughs> it's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us. No matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Well, any suggestions then? I'm listening. I don't know, just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well... I could... That's, uh... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled, then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause... the world any harm. Aww, <laughs> that was kind of cute. <laughs> Hooray to the Bamboo Creeks. You know, I'm disappointed there isn't a, um, like a screen-wide map every time we each, we move on to the next level. Kind of like in um, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghosts and Goblins, what was it called? Wait, how am I? Oh. Okay. This is amazing! A little bit of health. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, it's actually pretty good as a game. I mean, oh, the gates are timed. Right, right. Oh, yeah, 
have no money for anything, so I'm gonna leave. Uh, do we want to chat with him, though? Yeah, that's a new area, right? <coughs> Bamboo Creek. That must be a sight for sore eyes after you're tracking the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. This place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. <laughs> I guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. Tell me about time shards. What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. The time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we have been doing it so far. You select what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. <laughs> and I'm busy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> do you have any more um, stories to share? Of course I do, but now is not the time. Why not? We're in Bamboo Creek. It's as sunny as it gets in this here cursed world. So, so I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. Bye now. Oh, you dick. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave. I don't want my story. Oh, okay. Wait, can I? Oh my god, okay, never mind. Jesus Christ. Was that only for some help? Right, bring in the Peppo dancers. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, that's much easier. What the hell is that? Medusa heads. Medusa heads. I am not comfortable with Medusa heads. Good old Castlevania Medusa heads. Only now they are like demon faces or something. Hold up. Whoa! Oh my god, wow! Jesus! Okay, I guess careful about that guy, huh? Um, the what? What? Did I just jump off screen? <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm scared. Can we open this? There must be a way to open that. Okay, cool. I really like this, um, this jumping mechanic, like hit and jump again. How much do I need? the next few upgrades. 250... 3.2... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.5... 2.
200 a cannon in the pot. So maybe they are a lot of upgrades, but since you don't get a lot of crystals. Oh, okay. Well, that was dumb. Whoa! Oh, I have to hit the little ball. Okay, I get it. Wait a second, what is wrong with this? Why is that different? Hmm. Can you... I don't think you can hit me all the way over here, can you? Uh, you can, however. What a sniper! Oh. Oh, I don't like this! Don't, don't, no, 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 stop! <gasps> bad idea. Real bad idea. I just want to see if there was something in the corner over there. Goodness me. Oh! <laughs> this game is ridiculous! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, they're all jumping! No! Come back! Fuck! <laughs> oh, that's good. Is happening? No, I think I'm dead. Oh my god, I, I'm, I'm not. What the fuck am I doing? Give me that. This is really tense. Slow and steady. It's a race. However, this isn't a race. Heck. Oh no! Goodness. Come on, let's do it. Push this stupid bridge! Ah! Okay. Oh. Okay, this this is a secret. <laughs> it looked like one. Nice. So 403, I think we have enough for at least one upgrade. What do we have? Key charges plus one and shuriken peers or... Enemies drop globes that restore HP. And I can almost have both of them. 
I think for now, let's get some health restore. This feels like a boss fight. Oh, look at this! Whee! Yeah, I think... This has the look of a Mega Man boss fight, you know? Like you drop into a pit and all of a sudden, like... Flaming Flamingo is attacking you. What? Really? Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. This music. It reminds me of Dig Dug. Do you remember that game? It's so freaking old. Okay, not anymore. Now it sounds like they're taking their hobbies to Isengard. <laughs> what? I feel like I need an upgrade here. Uh, dude, I'm stuck. I fell in a pit. That you did. Uh, that gap is way too wide and there's no way I can make that jump. This reminds me of a story. Oh, now you have a story, you son of a bitch. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of. Some would mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do you need anything? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wingsuit attack. Sex of grinding in the wingsuit to attack downwards. Sure. Not chat. Uh, what about the wingsuit? Thanks for the wingsuit. You bet. Don't forget to try it out by pressing and holding A while airborne. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? Isn't there? What do you mean? I mean, you should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know for sure that this cursed world and its inhabitants have a surprise. Sorry, have a lot of surprises left in store for you. My chat is just slightly in front of the text. I should just move it, but I'm lazy. Welcome to the Howling Grotto. Goodness me, somebody's smoking. There's a smell of cigarette and it's disgusting. Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. Anything I should know? Ah, uh, not really, other than it's gliding time. Well, that wingsuit I gave you? Yeah? Sorry, I don't have contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. I'm being awkward now. What's wrong with you? gave you something that virtually lets you fly and you'd rather stay here and chat? Yes. Do you have any stories? Of course. Here's one for you. Okay, brace yourself, guys. Once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he's sad. It worked like a riddle of charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle wizard promptly grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could the non-magic ring make you sad when you're happy and happy when you're sad? 
I guess. But not really. Was it was it a ring not for the for the fingers? It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa! That's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey now, don't push it. <laughs> That's your first thought. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's something wrong with us. Wee! Oh, that is amazing. It's gonna kill me so freaking much. Music is um, interesting. Oh! The second die in style. Yeah, I can. Strikes a bow. Well, that was not a wingsuit activation, was it now? Uh, this is... Okay. Oh my god, what the hell am I looking at? So those things are like, um, one shot, one kill. What? What? Oh, a new customer. Who the hell are you? What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. Oh, how dare you! I did well not to die so far. Well, until now. The gist of it all is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. Is it a special kind of ring? Like the other story. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad, so I'll stick around to steal your loot until you either... <coughs> until either we're even, or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal, and we see eye to eye. Carry on, then. Oh, no, so he's just... Oh, he's sticking with me now. Oh, and he's stealing all the money. Oh, that's not cool. This, I, I don't know about this wingsuit, by the way, it's a bit... Oh, wait, the guy... Is the guy gone? He's gone. Yeah... You know what? this 
Why have I decided to do this? Oh my god. I need some healing. The hell is that? Wait a second. Ah. Okay. <laughs> the, the move is amazing. The the underwater. Oh shit. That's hell. Well, I don't need it. That's fine. This seems a bit... Fucked up. <laughs> what did I tell you? I like that these games are pretty much a glorified puzzle. Right? Like, there is a specific process that you have to follow in order to go through these um, platforms. Like, it, it's, a, it's pretty much a puzzle, isn't it? You have to jump it next time, you have to avoid that in the right time. It's all, it's all... Yeah. You know what I mean. Probably. Maybe not. Okay. Wait, did this guy then just leave? Oh, that's bad. Oh, come on, wingsuit man. Still not done this stupid level. Hey, buddy. Yeah, give me that. All right. I missed one. We no. <laughs> Come on. No, that is dumb. Did you see that the wizard run interference? That is not fair. Okay, what the hell? I was right getting um, the hit a projectile to bounce, to jump again, you know. <laughs> oh, is that a secret? No. But now I'm a bit. Alright. 
Oh, oh, Christ! What the hell just happened? Oh, wait. Oh. Nice. Oh, look at them big crystals. It's so satisfying to just smash them down. You know? I do feel like I should have um, a downward attack. Somehow. Oh, nom 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 nom. Lovely time crystals. I guess I do kind of have a double attack now with a with a wingsuit. But like, it's not easy. I have to activate the wingsuit. Mm, but it works. Boss time? Boss time. Right, is there something new here? Can I touch the cabinet finally? No. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, can't upgrade anything. Can I chat? Level boss? Oh, it gives me... Oh. Well, I hope you're up for a challenge. You keep trying a few dozen times. I'll try. Because something big is up next. What? Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands what the best defense is. A good defense. Who? I wish I could tell you. Anyway, the three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there a three question rule? Hey, that's four now. You think you can just barge into my lab and throw my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put the cube results you could use in the outside world? Maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch it again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. You asked for it, I can't skip it. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. One thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals. So you think, oh, when I'll have this, I'll be happy. Or when I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, but others simply hope the Volver will sign their kick-ass game. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail, because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person you were when you, will, when you set out to achieve it. Oh, that's deep. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. Man, I'm 17 again. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal of, or a state. It's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you. So that every day you just stoke to live your life. And you don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Now I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life. And that implies that you stop trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. You should see what I did to the last time I got nosy. Hey, I heard that. Oh. Oh, that's the tentacle monster. Please don't touch the cabinet. 
I told you the coming is off limits. Believe me. Okay, it's done. Oh, that was um. Yeah, that was quite something. What the hell? Okay. I mean, he said it was big. And I get it, it's big. <gasps> what the f- Dude! Oh no! Okay, can I not drop down? What is happening? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that was bullshit. No, don't press me. I got one HP. God damn. Um, I'm scared. Is it doing it? Is it not doing it? Oh, look at it. God. And my windows just closed because why the hell not? Oh god! <gasps> Fuck. Well, that's it. I was distracted to be fair. So how how does this work now? That I cannot get any more money because the boss is here. Is it gonna follow me through or? I think it's gonna follow me through all the boss fight. Yeah, I don't like that. Come on. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh! Let's see. So I will always get hit by that. Oh boy. Okay. Just go up. Don't do it. it feel oh, got it. What? Oh boy. Nice. Oh, you're not going up, huh? I figured. Okay. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh god. Oh, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know if I like this. God. Oh god. Oh. Oh, it's sad now. Like, thanks for destroying my golem. Well, you attack first. What are you talking about? I have been digging through these carvers for centuries and you just randomly engaged. No way. Way? No way. <laughs> We're like two 13 year old girls arguing. You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instinct kicked in a little too fast. Oh, now they're making friends. I understand. It's all good, man. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's alright. Honest mistake. So... How do I get out of here? Oh, I'll just a win for you. Good luck on your quest. Windows are closing again. Okay, I'm gonna have to take care of it. Oh, it's still pit. Oh, it's still mad about the golem, isn't he? 
Well, we're in the Quillisher Marsh. Right, guys. Give me five minutes. I'm gonna grab something to drink. I'm gonna try to uh, fix the windows so they don't move. So, be right back. Oh, wait. I have to fix this. Hold on. Hold on. God damn it. Wait. How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna do this like so. Is it even working now? Um, okay, yeah, it's working. There you go. Alright, be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I think I managed to lock the window in place. I just stuck an empty bottle in between the window and the frame, so it should not um, close, hopefully. Alright then, I got my vodka and um, yeah, let's keep going. Ow, okay. Oh, can I? Oh, I see. Cool music in the marshes. Again. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. What? Well, that was <laughs> nearly cheating. Those needles. What the hell? Oh my god. What is this? Jesus. So now they actually assume you have... Um, the jump after attacking and stuff, right? Oh. Wait, huh? What? Ow. Alright, dude. Uh, yeah. What can we get? Defense up I like. But that's a thousand? Oh my god. Wait, what about that? 
Devil's Due, reduce Quarbles fine for saving your life by 50%. 400, we're close to that. Maybe I should save for it. It's gonna save me money. In the long run. Although I realize that not dying is also a good option. I still can't believe you defeated the Emerald Golem. Did you get the chance to understand its motive? The thing wasn't evil, it was just digging away. What? You mean all these messengers that were killed? All the misunderstanding. Wow. area. <laughs> Welcome to Quillshrew Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I was had to look through the mud for an artifact. Give up pretty quickly. What happened to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity called the Primal Fear until a brave monk defeated it. Both were very mighty indeed, but with its final breath, the Primal Fear cursed the monk forever. Cursed? Legend also says that the monk will still roams the marsh to this day, turning the, any trespassers into fungi. Oh, great. No one knows whether any of that is true, but yeah, I'd pick the pace if I were you. Any stories? Of course, here's one. Alright, story time. The one was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Uh oh. Even though he was supposed to move on with his very important quest, he just couldn't get enough. The shopkeeper, living in a void outside of time, was connected to all eras, and so at first was happy to share the myths and legends encountered over decades of traveling. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the morals or takeaways, so the shopkeeper decided to be done with the stories thing. The end. No way, I like your stories. Come on. Maybe later, we'll see. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, okay. Oh, what happens now? Oh, he's freaking out. Look at that. Jesus. What? <gasps> okay. It's like the spooky, not the worst. Notice I'm getting hit a lot more frequently. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, a little bit of help. Oh! What have I done? Oh, what have I done? That was a miracle. What? Uh, okay. Do you hear the sound they make when they die? It's like a weird block. They go like block. Wait, listen to this. Okay, hold on. Weird, okay. Whoa, double kill. Uh, well, I killed something. Nice. 
Should we stop by the shop? Probably not. Oh god! What? That looks like I'm, it's gonna kill me. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! No! Yeah, what did I say? Why have I done it? Why have I done that? Why did I even try? Oh, this guy's gonna steal all my money. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it again. Oh, oh, so much money! What the hell, dude? Okay, he's gone. Jumped. He jumped and dodged my shirt. I mean, good job. Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't great. I am surprisingly at full life, though. Yeah, I can. Okay. Not too shabby. Okay. Fuck. Um, boss time already. Right, let's buy something. Uh, 320 plus 1 HP, yeah. Level boss. Be careful, I sense a fallen up ahead. A fallen? It's what we call messengers whose quests come to a tragic end. Their power corrupted by demon magic. <gasps> I'm gonna face a, an enemy messenger? Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Because it doesn't get more serious than a rogue messenger about to unleash on you. And with these stories about a monk, if it really is that one monk. What are you, what are you talking about? How about you meeting your match? Good luck. Ooh, damn. 
All right, here we go. Oh, look at that baby. Well, well, well. It seems we have an intruder. You need to get out of here. This place is filled with monsters. Oh, did my quill shroom scare you? So it's true. <laughs> Don't like my army? It's a shame, really, since you're about to join it. Wait, that scroll. It couldn't be. No, impossible. Kneel before your queen and receive the curse of quills. Or not. The f okay. Those are spores, and I do not. Did that. Did she just turn me into a freaking. What the hell is that? How do I stop her? Ow! Fuck! No! Oh, Jesus! Okay. Oh, this is not looking too hot right now! Get wrecked, lady! <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> Never mind, lady. She, she's tough. Oh, that's a bop. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. Ouch. Oh, what's she doing? I don't have a lot of HP left. Eat. Damn. Wrecked. Wait! Now wait a second! Huh? Who do you think you are? I'm Quilble! Quilble? This thing makes no sense! Why have I never seen you before? I was exiled a long time ago, when I got cursed along with my messenger. The voice... Are you... Out of here? You bet! See ya, sucker! <laughs> What? What just... What the fuck just happened? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh well. That happened. And we're out. The searing cracks. I like it. Volcanic area. Oh, this is cool. Hello! Congratulations! You made it to the base of the mountain! Almost there! Do you know what this means? I don't know. Does it mean you have another dialogue trap for me? <laughs> what? Oh, so you're just going to try and steal my character like that? I guess you think you deserve a prize. No? Well, you do. Plus, you will never be able to make the climb without the rope dart. The rope dart? Don't overthink it. Everyone will probably end up calling it the grappling hook anyway. Here. Got the grappling hook. Press B to throw. Put on rings, lanterns, and walls. Our enemies. Okay. Monk. I want that monk. It is as I feared. A most promising messenger did not die, but was instead cursed forever. Became the queen of quills. How did that happen? This is a tale for another time. So, thanks for the rope dart? Oh, did you think that was an awkward interaction? Well, you could say that. Clearly, you never had to tell your boss that your little experiment went wrong, permanently incapacitating one of your colleagues. Hey, I heard that. Anyways, 
You can use it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Go nuts. Any stories to share? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Of course, there's one for you. It's a story I once told the guy who hooked me up with music for my shop. There once was a village struggling to figure out who the werewolf was. I know the story. People kept dying every full moon and very gorily at that. One day, a brave young couple decided to venture into the woods. No, this is different. It would be the hunter and she the bait. As one would expect from such a cliched setting, they got separated and our hunter faced off alone against a beast near a cliff. After 15 minutes of a little appeal battle, the hunter managed to chop off the werewolf paw with his axe, just as he was attempting to choke him. The hunter then ran for his life, seven paws still clutched to his throat. By the time he got home, the sun was up and he found his fiance bleeding, also badly wounded. Paul in his throat had reverted to its human form, and at that moment he noticed it was wearing a ring he had purchased a few years ago. A few days ago, even. The end. Whoa, that was spooky. I'm still looking for a title. Any suggestions? What about the Werewolf Bride? Wow, great idea. Really? No, not really. You put the reveal in the title. <laughs> it's a terrible idea if you think about it. Okay, so how- oh? Wait. Oh! It's not very... long. But it's nice that I can rope to, um... <gasps> to walls and everything. This is gonna kill me. I don't know how yet, but I know that rope is gonna somehow destroy me. I can tell. I can tell it's one of those gadgets that will, uh... Yeah. <gasps> oh! Bloody hell. If someone watching, you can pretend there was the input There was input lag, guys. I mean, I clicked, but it didn't work, really. It wasn't the rope. No, that's true. It was definitely input lag. I tried. I was greedy. Okay, dude, you can stop stealing my stuff now. Oh, I thought that would just kill me, you know? <gasps> Shoot! How did I survive that? Whoa! Stealing is what you call it when someone takes money and return for a service. Well... Oh, shit. Depends on, you know, how much you're paying and how good was the service. Okay, bye. Oh, here they come. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> What's that? Oh, 
Whoa! Yeah, okay, I see how this is gonna be. I'm sorry. How do we... How do we get to the crystal again? Ow. But I don't need to. Wait, 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 wait. There's something up there. Oh, oh well, I, I, I can't buy anything really. There's gotta be a way to drop down here, right? What am I doing? Okay. I'm kind of liking the rope bark now. It's growing on me. Game is definitely getting harder now. I don't even know if that was the right way. It probably wasn't. If I do this, look, there's a saving spot there, but what the... I'll take my chances over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I don't know what is happening. Okay. They die, that's a good thing. Right! the game though like really oh, is that another crow
And it's boss time already. Wow, guys, we're... How many bosses are in this game? I feel like I, I've done so much already. What time is it? That's it's fine. Uh, right. Looks like the boss is up. Surely you mean the bosses. Uh-oh. Bosses? Bosses. The bosses are up. I need to fight more than one boss here? Well, technically it's more like personal training than actual fighting. What? Ah, don't let me ruin it. Go see for yourself. Am I gonna fight like a bunch of a bunch of shadows of myself, like doppelgangers or something? Definitely not doppelgangers. Another day, another shoe simmering. Oh yeah. Mountain life is a blast, but I miss seeing adventurers pass by. I hear you. Remember humans? Remember humans? <laughs> Ooh, I remember. You bet I do. They were almost as interesting as all this foreshadowing. Oh look, a human. Who would have thought? Yo, Kolos, check this little guy out. Whoa, Seuss. See that scroll? Hey, little guy, are you the carrier? No, I'm the messenger. Don't be silly, Seuss. Everyone knows it's the runner. You're confused, Kolos. I'm pretty sure it's the DM boy. No, you've misconstructed, Seuss. It's actually the emissary. Come on, Kolos. Colossuses. I get it. I think I remember it being the courier. Seriously, Seuss? How about we agree on the message bearer? Can do, Kolos. Want to test the message bearer's formanship? I thought you never asked, Seuss. Let's see what you got, little guy. Alright. The fuck? Um. Okay. What the? What the hell are they doing? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, that's... What is that? Did... Was it just naked right there? What the hell, dude? Oh. 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 Never do that again. Okay, tag, you're in. This boss seems a bit stupid, isn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, oh my god, okay, never mind. I, I, I take it back, I take it back. Oh my god, ouch! What the f- Damn it. The hell? Already? Oh, he's furious. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Did... Did he... I think he fucked it up. Woo! Dude, um... 
again. Ooh! Oh, wow! They get hit by the... He's not dying. Oh, thank God. Oh, my finger was hurting a little. Sonnet Colos, the postman packs quite a punch. Savile stated, Susus. We like you, little guy. <laughs> what do you reckon, Colos? He probably needs to reach the top of our mountain. Seems so, Susus. I say we help out. Confirmed, Colos. Let's do this. Thanks for the workout, little guy. Now don't move. This might sting a little. Wait, what? Ready, Colos? Set, Susus. Hot! <laughs> Away! Well, I'm hungry now. Shall we snack, Colos? I dissent. We promised not to eat until our power thistle was ready to be added to the pot. I forgot completely, Colos. Surely its magical properties will make us even stronger. It will be succulent, Susus. It will be corn corn, Colos. Let's save by the stew until the thistle is fully grown. Oh, is it that little thing right there? Okay. Clash of Beats. Oh, this is already my favorite level. Oh, I can fill the... Feel the cold. Oh. oh, it feels good. Oh, ice. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be one hell of a level. Let me tell you. Oh, fuck me. That ice is wow. Wait, how that? How the hell am I gonna get that? I can jump off the edge there and then what? Hmm. What the? Oh my god! Secret? Way. There's like a freaking falling wall. Need anything? Uh, still nothing, apparently. I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. Clearly, you haven't watched the trailer. Pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. Wait, what? What do you want to chat about? Any stories? One was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as heat. The elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was, the grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left a young boy behind to attempt what the village called the trek. They would scout all the way to the grove, and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the trek before them, they sadly and predictably never came back. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only one goal in mind, to take the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply been ill-prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left for the trek and set off for his own tent. The hailstone's first bite 
It wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into his bones. After days of walking through the storm without realizing it was all just a metaphor playing in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon, no pun intended, chilling sight. His parents, frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until cold took him to become a part of the ice block. The end. What? What do you mean, what? No more or at least the proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers as long as they ring true to you. Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. And it just might be the case that for you, it was. You could consider the implication of our event of being five years older than your parents when you found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors realizing they are actually younger than you? You bearers of truth, the wise ones, those you aspire to be like? A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, that they were centered and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stability, physically crystallized yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Had they really found inner peace already when you knew them, meaning you're the one who missed the mark, or were they simply excellent tactics? Food for thought, huh? Yes, that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared but one angle. Well, damn. That was, um... That was something. Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! The oh, wow. Oh, my God. This area seems really bad already. <laughs> well, guess what? I just cheesed half a level. This area is so cool. Oh, this area is really fun. Um, oh, okay. Wait, what? Yeah, this takes quite a lot of concentration, by the way. <laughs> uh, which way is the right way again? Oh! Don't know about right, but... Oh, I'm gonna head.
Oh my god. Okay. Man, this is tough. Oh, not one of them. So how do, how do they work again? Jesus. Okay, you know what? Oh, okay. Fuck. Why do I feel like you meant to do that? I mean... I don't know if I actually meant to do that, but... God, this fast. Wait, did it disappear again? <gasps> oh boy. Well, I think he's gone. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hang on a second. Ah! Well, this is... this is... Wait, can I even... It. Oh man, okay. Oh no. Oh, Medusa head. And jumpy boys. Okay. Goodness me. Oh, this is getting real intense. I thought I died there. Oh my lord. Alright, boss time? Boss time. Guys, it's the peak. Is this the final boss? Wait. It's not here. Can I check it? You really thought it would be that easy? Oh, you asshole. Oh. <laughs> but it's um he's not there. Oh, he made it. Does this mean we can do the thing? Keep your hood on, shorty. He still needs to pass the final test. But I want to do the thing. Now, now, we need to see how tuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, Prophet. <clears throat> Welcome, Messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. See, I told you it was slow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. <clears throat> Please hold the scroll higher than that so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. I didn't talk to the cabinet? I did. I couldn't. What? Not enough? I've heard the big story. Holy crap. Um... E he made it? Of all will be messengers, him? There's another big story if you try while no one is at the shop? Oh. Please, 
Pull this off. I really want to do the thing. Ahem. <clears throat> a gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Should you survive, find us at the top of the Tower of Time. Maybe I can still do it. No, I cannot. Well... Too bad. Uh-oh. We're gone. Saves come quick. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh shit, there's a- oh fuck! Wait, what? The hell is happening? Oh, this time? This is a real room. I'm sorry, what? Ah yes, the big reveal. Indeed, my dear adventurer. You had been teleporting into this very room all along. So where are we? In the Tower of Time! And um, where is that? Should you mean when? To be honest, I don't really know. The tower is a device that travels through, through time. It manifests to test messengers who are deemed worthy in order to relocate them as needed. Where will it take me? When? It will take you to the time most in need of a messenger. That is, if the tower doesn't kill you, of course. Need anything? Of course, there's a story that once was a land filled with bogs, and, there, and these bogs, they were filled with evil monsters. Sleeping on the water during the day, they were kept at bay by the moon during night time. Well, when she was kind enough to be around, after all, the moon was free to travel through space, and often felt like shining a light on other realms. One day, the moon got bored and decided to visit the bog land in human form. Wearing a cloak so that her light wouldn't shine through, she hoped to catch a glance of the evil creatures. Getting more than people wandering haphazardly in cursed lands, usually bargained for, she encountered a man fleeing from a small pack of monsters. Confident in her power, she removed her cloak, creating a glittering aura of protection to help the man escape. Escape he did, but as he looked back, he could see that his savior had put her cloak back on a little too soon. She was captured by the creatures, who then buried her under a rock so that her light would never shine again. They would rule the night. But our survivor was quick to gather a group of peasants who went to remove the big rock and set the moon free. A strong bond was formed that day, and she decided to become the guardian. To this day, the moon is there to guide human travelers through the night. The end. Oh, I like that one. I guess it speaks to the power of co cooperation? Maybe. To be honest, I only wanted to use the word haphazardly in the story. <laughs> I mean... Fair enough. What am I looking at here? Oh god, okay. Oh fuck. Wow, okay. Oh. oh, shit. Quick. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> one HP. Shit. Shit. Oh, my lord. Yeah, this is... <gasps> what the hell? What is happening? Oh, my god. Got some life back at least. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. 
This place is scary. Like, seriously scary. see I thought it was too easy so far I mean it was getting harder but it was still fine but now now it's oh now we're there tower of time tower of salt Save point, alright. How what am I looking at here? <gasps> Fuck. Oh, it was going all the way up. I thought it would just stop there. Shit. Oh shit. This is so hard. Oh my god, alright. Oh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. What is this? Hey, Yona. How are you uh, enjoying part of exile? <laughs> okay, that was bullshit. But come on now. I'll throw you less rest. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's been a while, Yona. How are you? Oh! Oh, this is bullshit. Not good? Go yell your work again. You're really mad. Oh no. Fuck me, that work has been. Just terrible. <laughs> Is it late? I feel like it's time for me to, you know, take a nap or something. That's kind of late. No! <laughs> oh, how do you do that? That is terrifying. Goodness me, okay. Please tell me there's a save point somewhere. God. Oh 
Oh my lord. What is this? What am I looking- No, 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 I'm not gonna do a green coin. Give me a save point somewhere, please. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Right. Come on! Oh, good messenger. Oh, what is going on? Jeez. Do I just jump on top of this? Okay, scary, but sure. Oh, really out. Oh, come on, this is... This is really too easy. That was just dumb. But please do give me a save, because I, I, I don't want to. Yes. The what? Oh my lord. Stop! That hurts so much. That hurts so much. Oh please. Save point. Oh thank god. Oh no. Oh no 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 It's so Pretty, but you know. Oh, Jesus, dude, what the hell? I thought the shop was physically behind that other door earlier. Oh, so this is the moment that got you. What? My shop is connected all over the world, and that's totally fine. But somehow it can't be in the same building twice. I can't believe you. I can't believe you! What the fuck, man? Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, guys! <clears throat> I saw you made it through the test of will. Oh, we are so going to do the thing now. <clears throat> Prepare yourself, messenger, and behold the might of our hoarder. You shall emerge as the chosen one, or not at all. Enough introductions, I'm going first. What? Well, someone's excited. I've been preparing this speech for decades and he just... You'll get over it, let's go. Is he gonna stop with that? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, no. Yes, I do mean that. Oh, probably. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh god. No. Just let me up. <gasps> oh. oh, that's it. Please, that's enough. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay we're good. We're good. We're not good. We're definitely not good. Oh wow, that was so quick. That was way too quick. Okay, this is not good at all. What is that? Oh, what the? Um. Don't, don't, don't. Stop, stop flashing everything. Oh god. <laughs> I, got, I mean, that was probably not the right place to be. All things considered. But what is this bullshit? Like, they gave me... They, they're giving me 3 HP to kill a boss. Come on now, you can do better. 3 HP. Is he gonna shoot through the hand? I probably is, right? God, right. <gasps> oh my god! I screwed that one up real bad. I like the music. The music is really good for this one. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Well, um, um. Oh! Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're shooting. Oh, no! Oh, God. Do that. Yes! Okay, what are you doing now? I'm totally fine with this. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I've done, gone, did it. Done it? What? Whatever. I did it. I did it. <sighs> Who are these people? Is that the monk? Okay, I think it's coming. Please, let me do the prophecy bit this time. I'm staying out of this. Do whatever you want. Hello! <clears throat> and so you made it through the test of might. Okay, what's next? To fulfill the prophecy, you must now pass the test of fate by taking the leap. The leap? <clears throat> the leap, yes. I don't get it. Well, test of fate, leap. Leap of fate. Makes sense, no? Oh, just jump already. Come on, I was trying to have an epic moment here. Now, hero, lend your courage to hope and your strength to purpose. Then dive into your destiny to emerge as the one true messenger.
cooler now. Oh, I am much cooler looking now. They gave me a hat. <laughs> I deserve a hat for all of that. Just fucking geek yourself. Oh, that guy! Is this... Did we upgrade? To a new, like, graphic style? Oh my god. And new music as well. What happened? I worked on something and everything looks different now. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. I know, right? Seriously. Wow. Any idea what happened though? Sorry, I just can't get over the hat. <laughs> Need anything? Sure. Oh, look, all the sound and noises and the... Oh. Welcome to the Cloud Ruins. Remnant of a civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. This place is beautiful, but the structures feel precarious. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How high am I? This is so high, dude. You mean in my opinion? What? Oh, geographically. Well... You enter the Tower of Time at the top of the mountain and then exit it through the top of the tower. So I'd say fairly high. Enjoy the sight. New look. What's the deal with everything looking so different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implication of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Pardon? The moment in the Tower of Time? Yeah. It sends you to the future. Neat. Yes, precisely. Neat. <laughs> Any story? <laughs> of course, this one. There was once a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy. It is well deserved, he, be he began. But if you feel like you're helping even more, there are two gnomes hiding in the forest who are even hungrier than you are. Now the boy was an empathetic one. His mind was made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them, without even saving a bite for himself. Thank you, kind little boy, the gnome beamed. It seems you have lifted our curse. Indeed, to punish them for the greed, a spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest, carrying a magic little mill capable of producing anything its bearer desired. But the little mill's magic would only be activated once the gnomes were fed by a stranger acting out of selfless generosity. They starved while carrying a relic promising abundance and cruel fate indeed. Now you can imagine the little boy's surprise when he was given the magic item. Name something you want while turning the crank to the right, and the little mill will produce an endless stream of it, the gnome explained. Turn it to the left, and it will stop. After creating a huge pile of food for the two gnomes, the young boy went back to his village to have the populace with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sisters grew in jealousy. One night, she couldn't take it anymore and stole the little mill from her brother's bedside table, along with two leftover pies from that afternoon's feast. Adding insult to injury, she left on the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have a turn in the role of the popular purveyor. Once out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which to her taste were lacking a little something. It was time to try the little miss magic, reckon. She reckoned. Give me salt, she said, turning the crank to the right. And salt she got. Heaps and heaps of it. Now, all the sister had never bothered paying attention to how the mill could be stopped. 
Stop the mill. Stop, she shouted. First annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Salt soon overflowed the boat itself, sinking it under the weight. It is said that the sunken little mill is still operational to this day and is a reason why seawater is salty. Wow, that was a cool story, the end. That was interesting, but it feels more like a kid's story explaining things about the world we know than the actual reason for. Tough crowd, huh? Why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge it? So you're looking for additional takeaways? How about this? Seeing how Big Sister's anger led to her demise, irritated people were and sword referred as to salty. Oh, I got another one. Seeing how Big Sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people were henceforth referred to as not being worth the salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll keep on coming with more to do with salt. Right then. Be like that. See what the salty because of the whale sperm? Well, that's something we didn't need to know. I think I can do it. Oh, there's nothing? Really? Oh, come on now. That was good. Wait a second. Oh, shit. No, come on. Oh, come on now. See? Was something down there. Now making my way back up is gonna be not too bad actually. Alright guys, I'm gonna make it to the next save and then I'm gonna stop here, but this is this is good. Do you think we should um Keep going. Should we finish this or should we leave it as a one shot? I mean, the game is kind of fun, so I really don't mind trying to finish it if you want to see more of this. Am I about halfway? I have no idea. Shoot. Oof. How long is the game? I mean, I played for what? Like three hours? About three hours? Um, let's see. Five hours or so? How long to beat? The Messenger. Whoa! People are saying actually 10 to 15. Is that right? Ah, this is uh, this is longer than I expected. Well, I mean, it's gonna be like what? A few streams? I think we can do it. Oh, look at the clouds. Oh, that's pretty nice. But yeah, yeah, we can definitely do this. I mean, I thought we were. What's the noise? I thought we were halfway, but maybe not. 
You have the same hat? No, I got it first. Oh, is that what you're going to tell yourself? Fine. I did have it. I did have the hat first, and you were all over it. But right, yeah, that'll happen, sure. It's true, though. Look, you can put your head in the sand all you want and attempt to preserve your ego, but clearly it's not going to work as the person on the person that was there when it all happened. This guy, seriously. <laughs> all right. That's it for tonight, though, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. Maybe we'll leave this as a weekend thing. We can probably do that. And uh, we'll see if we can get into the sexy brutal soon enough, okay? But for tonight, that's all. So thank you very much for watching. I will be back tomorrow, probably playing some um, Darkest Dungeon, because I want to keep going with that a little. And then I I'll somehow figure out a schedule to fit everything I'm playing in, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, take care, have a good day, have a good night, and goodbye.